the Mount Rushmore of Marvel movie characters. Yeah. Um, all right, and then we'll spin the wheel at the end. All right, so let's go first. Um, who do you got first? Who do you got first? We're going to do, we'll start with. Where are we starting? Start with Lincoln. Okay. Well, this won't shock you. My number, my number two. In fact, I'm pretty sure you. My number two. Number, who number, number two? two. Um, Bucky Barnes, the winter soldier. Oh, wow. All right. Is my, I, I would have almost guessed he was number one. All right. No, no, he's not number one. Okay. Number one is, uh, well, we'll get to number one. We'll get to George in a bit mm -hmm. yeah no, i love i love i love the winter soldier character i love the way it was portrayed by sebastian stan i love the way that um i love the look of the character um not so much the clean cut current look that's in falcon and winter soldier mm -hmm. right now but um you know the badass you know <laughs> the guy who was you know genetically altered and just a killing machine <laughs> um you know because that scene when he first shows up mm -hmm. oh man that's just nuts. That is just, he, it's an insane scene, but the look with the arm and the hair and just the, just a bad ass killing machine motherfucker. I just love, um, I just love the character. It just, I, he's just, he's just a, he's just a killing machine. Yes. Brainwashed, you know, and now, and now he's kind of going through this, you know, very in the way it's playing out in, um, in, uh, um, you know, the, the winter Sol Falcon and the winter soldier, it's his evolution as a, as a person, you know, trying to transition like to normal society, you know, but yes, still a superhero, but kind of trying to conform, you know, um, be a, be a decent human being, you know, all that stuff. Um, and, uh, one, the one thing I did want to do with each one of these, as I wrap it up, is I just wanted to give you like a, one quote from each of my guys. Mm -hmm. And this is a quick one. And this is in, um, I think it's from, I think it's actually from winter soldier. Um, okay. and it's just a scene with him and, um, bef uh, you know, back in time scene between him and, uh, as he, when he's Bucky and Steve Rogers before Steve Rogers is, you know, injected, uh, or he just puts his hand on his shoulders and he says, I'm with you till the end of the line, pal. Nice. That's nice. so that's my Abraham Lincoln. All right. The winter soldier. Bucky Barnes. I like it. I like it. All right. My uh, my Abraham Lincoln is. It's going to be this is it's weird to have him as an Abraham Lincoln because he's so not like Abraham Lincoln, um, okay. but it's going to be Deadpool. Ryan Reynolds. Uh, I <laughs> absolutely love his Good. portrayal. I love both of those movies. You know, the second one was a little different than the first, but still had all that fun charm and quick wit and him and back and forth with cable like just oh god so fun and so so entertaining both of those movies um and i the can't dialogue wait to see for what, those movies i can't wait to see what disney does with with Deadpool. the third yeah yeah i can't wait to see how they you need to bring movie. cable back too well i mean <sighs> you know it's well he's part of x-force right so cable right yeah. so well i mean yeah. there's a lot of different people in x-force but yes yeah okay. yeah yeah so it's it'll be very interesting to see how this plays out because oh, yeah. so good, so good. Everything quote, about that. I can't Deadpool wait. is just a quote machine oh too. Thank God. God I didn't pick him. Ryan I don't Reynolds know what quote I is a quote machine. Which yeah, you had a good so idea. Do an OFN of Ryan Reynolds movies. Uh, yeah, that is on right. The wheel, so it is on. I the know. Wheel. All right. All right. That's so gonna be tough. I have my Deadpool as as Abraham. You have yours, and then as uh, Bucky. All right. Now let's get into our Roosevelt. Okay. This yeah. So my oh actually I even have a little prop for Roosevelt. Here's my Roosevelt. Move it over a little bit. Oh Loki. Loki. Oh, that's a good one. That the, would probably be my wife's George Washington. The, oh really? Yeah. The God of Mischief, baby. Oh, you he want to talk great. about quote machines too? But he just the character so perfectly played and portrayed mm -hmm. by Tom Hiddleston, uh, and I am unbelievably excited for that for that series on mm -hmm. Disney Plus. And it looks good. Like, if you, you, I assume you've seen some of the trailers for it. It looks uh, good. Yeah, I saw the trailers. Yeah, it, does it, look looks, it looks good. It looks, it looks interesting. It looks really interesting. Mm -hmm. um, you they know, moved the whole... it to Wednesdays too. They're not going to do it on Friday. Oh, really? Yeah, that's a, that's a good way to break up the week. Actually, mm -hmm. kind of. I, like, I don't mind that. Yeah. Um, 
Oh man, I'll be so in, I'll be so into that series. But it, like Owen Wilson is in it too, and yeah. that looks like a kind of a cool role for him, yeah. like, like the mustache and everything. It's a good, it's funny. It's a good. Yeah, I love Loki. Loki is just great. Um, here's my quote from Loki. This was um, moments before he was killed. Um, if you're going to Earth, you might want a guide. Mm-hmm. I do have a bit of experience in that arena. To which Thanos replies, "Well, if you consider failure experience." To which Loki, <laughs> Loki replies. I consider experience experience. <laughs> I love that quote. I love that quote. Uh, uh. And that is my, who was that? Was that Roosevelt? Yes. That okay. was your Roosevelt. All right. All right. So mine is, <sighs> this was tough for me because he is one of my all time favorite Marvel characters. Um, and I can't say, I, there was times I didn't particularly love how he was portrayed in certain aspects of the movie, but overall, I loved him. I loved the way he debuted in this in this cinematic universe. Yeah, and that is uh, Chadwick Boseman as Black Panther. Mm-hmm. Um, he's gonna be my Teddy Roosevelt because yeah, yeah. I feel like when he came on and they introduced him, I was like, that is my man, Black Panther. Mm-hmm. The way that he was chasing down, you know, mm-hmm. Bucky and trying to get him and Captain yeah. America's trying to go after. And he's just like, he is between two of these guys, these super soldiers, mm-hmm. they could not take Black Panther down. And that is yeah. how intense and incredible Black yeah. Panther was. Yeah. Um, is that he was just not going to be, he was smarter than you for the most part. I would argue that Tony Stark is smarter than him. Um, but it's close. It's not anywhere mm. near as like, it'd be kind of one of those things that Iron Man would be in the room and be like, mm, okay, I have someone that's like almost an equal here, like him and mm-hmm. Dr. Strange. Mm-hmm. Like those are the guys that are kind of like the smart guys in the room. Um, yep. Even I don't even, I don't even put, um, uh, you know, Hulk and Bruce Banner on that level. I feel like Tony Stark and them, I even know that Tony Stark and Bruce Banner kind of work together a lot. Yep. And they were the masters of their fields. I just felt yep. like Tony Stark was just on that notch above Bruce Banner. And yep. I feel like even Doctor Strange and them were kind of on the same level. And and Black Panther might be more on that Bruce Pan- Bruce, Bruce Banner uh, mm-hmm. on that level. But I mm-hmm. uh, love that. I love Bruce Banner. I love uh, Black Panther. Um, and I love the way that Chadwick Boseman played him, especially when they introduced him. Yes. That's a good one. Excellent one. Panther probably would have been on my honorable mentions. Okay. okay. So what are we up to, Jefferson? Yes, TJ. Well, my TJ. You know, and I, I, I wanted to keep this. To, I wanted this to sort of be what I refer to as a chalk-free list. Yeah, yeah. And by by chalk, I refer to guys who I consider to be the big four: Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, Hulk. Okay. If you want to, you know, and, and uh, but I, you know, what I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I, I I had to I had to include the guy, one of the characters who really started this whole thing, especially with the MCU. Uh huh. Um. It, it, basically, the the what Hulk Hogan would have been in 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 the Marvel Cinematic Universe or in in, in Marvel in general, uh-huh. Captain America. What you know? I I, I wanted to Without avoid one of the. One of the big right signs the racism. Um, I wanted to, I wanted, I wanted to really keep those guys off the list, but I couldn't. I just kept going back to the fact I fucking Captain love great. Steve Rogers. Yeah, he and is Chris great. Evans did a great job playing him. He is yes, exactly. It was a lot of it had to do with with the Chris Evans portrayal. He's and underrated again, as a character, even though he's completely loved. It, it, right, he's yeah. completely loved. He's, he's not on my list know, though. It's which is weird because I love and Captain let's America. and let's remember he was the only other person worthy enough to wield the hammer of Thor. Mm-hmm. So and that is a great great cinematic moment. I mean you've seen that video. All you got to do is YouTube it. That movie theater video mm-hmm. when the hammer starts to rise off the ground. Yeah, and it lands in his hand, and that theater is up for grabs. I mean that's just an all time. That is an all-time. And Thor was team. like, "I knew it, I knew it," and then Thanos kicks him in the face. Yeah. <laughs> but of course, we could not do. I could not do 
a Steve Rogers quote without the one that I believe is the best, which is the the end game speech. I'll run through it very quickly. Okay. Five years ago, we lost all of us. We lost friends. We lost family. We lost a part of ourselves. Today, we have a chance to take it all back. You know your teams. You know your missions. Get the stones. Get them back. One round trip each. No mistakes. No do-overs. Most of us are going somewhere we know. That doesn't mean we should know what to expect. Be careful. Look out for each other. This is the fight of our lives. And we're going to win. Whatever it takes. Good luck. And then, and then that's where... And then that's... And then, and, then you have, and then you have Rocket go, oh, he's pretty good at that. And that man's like, right? <laughs> but my favorite part of that whole speech... And I still believe, and I know this is just a weird thing to say. Mm -hmm. I still believe this is the best piece of acting Robert Downey Jr. did in in, in this entire MCU. Mm -hmm. He didn't have to say a word. At the end of that speech, there's just something about the look that Tony Stark gives him as he's wrapping up that speech. Just that, just like a, like, mm -hmm. like, God damn, you're great. Mm -hmm. You're just like, it's just this awesome look. Uh, just watch it. Watch the scene and just watch that quick little look that Tony Stark gives to Captain well, I mean, America. If you got, if you, you when he, but Captain it's like America, it, you could tell kind of rubbed off on Tony Stark. A but little that's, bit. but the, like, that's the brilliance of Robert Downey Jr. Playing Iron Man and playing Tony Stark was he didn't have to say a word. Mm -hmm. His facial, ex Robert Downey Jr. is such an, a gifted actor. Mm -hmm. His facial expression in that moment uh, after Cap gives that incredible speech is just, it sums it up. It sums up every feeling he has about Captain America without a word coming out of his mouth. I agree. It's just awesome. Yeah. Um, all right, we'll get into my uh, Thomas Jefferson, which is very fitting because mine is Iron Man. Um, and it's mainly, oh. it's mainly, I, I am <laughs> okay. a big, very nice. I, am, I am one of those guys that is very anti Iron Man 2 and 3. Um, love <laughs> Iron Man 1, but I particularly love Iron Man in all of the Avengers movies. Oh, yeah. Um, even in Civil War. Oh, yeah. Um, all those movies, the way that he is just the smartest man in the room. Um, and on top of that, the the stuff that goes back and forth between him and, and Captain, uh, Captain America is just incredible. Um, and you just, I just, this would never have been possible without him mm, this whole yeah. franchise yes rested on his shoulders it did. um and he got paid handsomely for it yes and he he's did. a talented actor and i'm glad he got a second chance um to be an actor yep. and uh took this role and ran with it because i'm not sure many others could have done what he did no. um so I'm gonna no no him, one else could have done this i'm gonna give him that that role as a TJ, even though he's not like a cornerstone here, he could have been, um, but uh, Still he's one of those guys four. I've already talked about, smartest man in the room. I really feel like he's the smartest man. And I think Thanos even realized that, yes, oh, did. this guy's on my level. I hope they remember you. Yeah. This guy's it's what, on my it's what, level. It's what he said. Yeah. And I hope they remember you. Because mm -hmm. he knew. He knew that he that did. guy, yep. if there was a guy that was going to figure out a way to beat him with his brain, it's that guy. It's uh, that's a great that's a great underrated line too from that movie mm -hmm. is I hope I hope they remember you because mm -hmm. he that was his way of showing respect yeah. to Tony Stark. Yeah. Now, you did mention earlier um when you were talking about Tony Stark how there were not many guys who could go toe to toe with him intellectually, but you did you did mention my George Washington in there. And this is a guy who god, I I fell in love with this character as a um i fell in love with this character when i saw him on a comic book cover when i was a kid a comic book that i still have which i wanted to dig up to show but i i don't know where my my comic book box is which i need to find just making me nervous now because i've got some comic books in there that i really want to look at i like to pull that box out like once every six or so years just to like see what's in in the comic book box oh, that okay. i have the comic book box you like to pull that box out again <laughs> Right. So anyways, um, yeah, I like to pull the comic book box. But this comic book, 
I remember just seeing this comic book cover and being like, this guy looks cool. And that guy is Doctor Strange. Stephen Strange. Doctor Stephen Strange, who right now is down the street performing open heart surgery, <laughs> according to the ancient one. Um, you're five years too early. Yeah. Um, Doctor Strange is just this. And and He's honestly, he is. Benedict Cumberbatch really perfect guy brought perfect because when i first saw this comic book cover with dr strange on it and then i saw benedict cumberbatch i was like wow like this is just fantastic casting Mm -hmm. like this is amazing casting job right there like you found the perfect guy to play just as just as finding tony stark was the perfect guy honestly let's be honest when it comes to casting yes casting is just kevin feige to whatever extent he's involved in all of that i mean just nailed all of that he really did um and 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 so it is kind of ironic though too that my 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 quote for dr strange is actually a little unstrange like at least because he's such a a well-spoken guy but uh, the this quick little exchange with Tony Stark, where Doctor Strange starts off by saying, if we don't do our jobs, to which Tony Clark quickly interrupts, what is your job exactly besides making balloon animals? Protecting your reality, douchebag. <laughs> That's Doctor Stephen Strange and Tony Stark going at it. And they and that actually in 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 the Infinity War and Endgame movies mm-hmm. in particular, their exchanges. Mm-hmm. Um especially in infinity war are great. Yes. Really, really good. Really good. Like back and forth dialogue between them. Uh, like, you know, just, just kind of Dick measuring stuff. That's really pretty funny. Yeah. Um, so that is my George Washington, Dr. Stephen strange. Okay. I like Dr. It. Strange, baby. My George Washington is a person who is potentially no longer with the franchise. Um, and that is, a character who had also basically taken a uh, a comic book franchise and kind of put it on his shoulders and ran with it, and that is Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. Wolverine, and not necessarily. Mm. I want to say a lot of his movies, his solo movies, weren't great. Um, yep. Uh, I will say, in the X Men franchise, especially Days of Future Past um, and Logan, mm. that movie. Mm, Those Logan. are where so you got special. to really see him and his acting skill and just a good Wolverine. Yep. Um, even in the, I would say in an X2, he was pretty good in there. Um, that was one of my favorite movies of the franchise. X1, The first one, X-Men, also very good. But ultimately, that Logan movie where at the very end where you got to see a lot more emo- emotional range, um, yep. A, yep. an old battered Wolverine um, mm-hmm. going head mm-hmm. to head with a younger version of himself and, mm, yeah. you know, just getting beat down from time to time, but ultimately yeah. coming out with a win kind of, um, mm. he is one of, if not my favorite character of all time. And, yeah. and cause I, it's something that with someone who has like a arthritis and I had bad car accident and, you know, left my knee kind of in shambles mm-hmm. and my leg in shambles um for years it's always been something that i just you know you want a superpower my superpower mm-hmm. i want is i want the ability to reheal i want to be able to heal fast and yeah. be back and like not have to really worry about what happened mm-hmm. <laughs> you know yeah, because right. the ramifications it's something that i would love to have but like yeah you know logan that i just He's got so much more depth than a, a lot of the comic book. Not necessarily comic book. Comic book sometimes gives him some good depth. But, you know, he, he has an emotional range, especially mm. in Logan. And in the yeah. comic book Logan, there's just so much there. And it's yeah. Uh, yeah. it's really, really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, so is that, is, mine. that is probably, it's definitely a top three to five. But the Logan trailer is one of the best trailers I've ever seen. The, that when that movie first came out, oh, the trailer the with, Cash. with the Johnny Cash hurt, it was just, but it was just perfect. Yeah. Perfect. An absolutely perfect trailer. Cool. Like I'd never wanted to see a movie more yep. and it was a great movie and mm-hmm. it held up of course to the trailer. Oh, um, it was an amazing movie, but an, an incredible movie. Um, 
that's a rarity too by the way when a movie actually holds up to the to its trailer because yeah. trailers uh, you know you could always piece enough you know crap together from a from a movie to make it look good sir sure. i mean even some of the justice league trailers the original justice league before the snyder cut looked pretty good yeah, <laughs> you know some of, it, yeah. some of it to the but not to you know you certainly didn't think it was going to be the trash compacting piece of shit that it was when you saw it after seeing the trailer but all right sure enough all right so that's pretty much it for our show today thank you guys for sticking around and watching um you know sound off in the comment section below who are your favorite mc not mcu marvel movie characters um we are going to spin that wheel uh and then we are gonna get the heck out of here here we go All right, and let's see. Wheel, wheel, wheel. Where's the wheel at? There it is. Here we go. We have okay. one blank on here. I'll have to write one more. Hopefully it'll land on the blank. I want OFN of Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs>